Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burrell. Let's give you a live look at Memphis. In about an hour and a half, authorities are expected to release that body cam video showing Tyree Nichols' encounter with five Memphis police officers during a traffic stop. President Biden calling for calm along with Nichols' family. All five officers are now former officers. They've been indicted on charges connected to his death. Each a member of the force's special unit called Scorpion, specifically formed to fight crime in some of Memphis's toughest neighborhoods. But tonight, as the city waits to see what happens and prepares for protests, News Nation's Alex Capriello reports the Scorpion unit itself is also coming under fire. Under the organized crime unit of the Memphis Police Department is a unit known as Scorpion, an acronym for Street Crime Operation to Restore Peace in Our Neighborhoods. The elite group, comprised of four units of 10 officers each, was formed in 2021 in response to the rising murder rate in Memphis and a spike in street crime, including car thefts and gangs. The Scorpion unit is a crime suppression unit uh, that was created because of the uptick in crime in, 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 in Memphis and Shelby County, uh, carjackings, homicide, uh, uh, auto thefts. The unit, highly touted by Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, patrols Memphis streets in unmarked cars. In its first three months, it made dozens of arrests and seized hundreds of cars and weapons. But the unit is now known for the death of one of the very citizens it was sworn to protect, after five of its members allegedly beat Tyree Nichols to death, prompting calls for the unit to be dissolved. Questioning the qualifications of the men in the unit and opening an investigation into all of MPD's specialized units, including Scorpion. It is my intent as a proactive measure to ensure that a complete and independent review is conducted. But the investigation could be too late. Tyree Nichols is dead, and according to one man, it wasn't the first time there was an incident involving this unit. Cornell McKinney is a Memphis area resident who says just four days before Tyree Nichols was brutally beaten, members of the Scorpion unit stopped him for no reason at a Marathon gas station as he picked up a pizza nearby. All I hear is, uh, freeze, get out the car. Put your, put your MF hands up before I blow your heads off. Both of you, get out the car. So put your hands up. So I put my hands up and one of the officers proceeded to come to the car and uh, he physically pulled me out by my shoulder with a gun no more than a foot away from my head. McKinney says he called MPD's internal affairs twice to complain about the officers, but he never heard back. He questions if the incident with Tyree Nichols could have been prevented if internal affairs had taken some form of action. I know that this unit will be dissolved real quickly, but there will be others to take its place the same as, as it has been in the past. You have to have officers that's willing to get out and chase and arrest people. But they also have to understand that you can't abuse people, you can't abuse your authority, and you have to respect their civil rights. Alex Capriello, News Nation. Well, Benny Cobb also says there has to be young officers, many of them with less time on the job, because many of the people committing the crimes are young and younger officers are in better shape to chase down suspects. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.